Hi guys, Flo here, the consulist. Um, in today's video, something something different. Um, yesterday, I stumbled across this. It's like a circuit board for a joystick tester <clears throat> for here it says Terry Commodore. Yeah, and so. Because uh, me being me, I thought, oh yeah, that's pretty practical. I could build this myself. So, yeah, in the end, I succeeded. I built this ugly thing here. Yeah, I... Normally I don't do these electronic things, I more or less um, yeah, repair or try to repair things, old things, consoles, retro stuff. And so I don't have much experience doing my own um, circuits or things like that. And because I'm me, basically I'm an idiot, so I thought, yeah, that's pretty easy to do and I could do this myself. So I didn't want to watch um, videos or, or circuits or things like that. And I thought, yeah, I figured this out myself. So yeah, I did figure it out myself. Yeah, the problem or not the problem. It took me ages to figure out how this thing works. I had all these components like the all LED stuff and yeah. That's all yeah, it's pretty easy, you know. Positive negative lead with a battery, yeah, you make it light up. So I thought yeah, that couldn't be so hard. I do this myself. I didn't draw any circuits or things like that I just started it took me I think like seven hours I, I so I pulled an all-nighter yeah I had to figure out yeah which voltage these things can take and which um, resistors I had be to put between these that I didn't blow them or that they didn't they wouldn't blow up so I had this little circuit board here and you see all the resistors in here. So I can open this. Uh, so it's portable. I put in this little LiPo battery uh, charging circuit here. And These are the practically the um, wires that came from come from the um, DB9 connector. So I beeped it out, which is what, which is which, which is up, down, left, right. Yeah, I could have looked that up too, but yeah, I'm a stubborn burst bastard, so I didn't want to. And I thought I'm a know-it-all, and yeah, you can figure this out. So, yeah, in the end I figured it out, but it took me ages. So, let's go through this. Okay, here's the battery charging circuit. This was an old rest of a cable. I had, um, yeah, this is the connect the connections that come from the uh, joystick here. They go in here, it's like here the ground wire and all the cables for the button presses up, down, left, right, button press here. Here is where the power goes in, so I pulled all these together. So the these are, I think, that puts out 4 volts max, so yeah, that's why I had to put in the resistors. Yeah, this uh, that with the resistors I figured out because I blew a lot of these um, LEDs. So yeah, 
so the power goes in here to the positive side of the LED and I put a resistor in between I don't know which yeah these work so I don't <clears throat> I, I could have measured it or calculated the right um, value that I can use but yeah I didn't so I blew a lot of these LEDs so here's the power in and it's always a resistor between the positive lead of the LED and the ground wire is here like cables that I beeped out for the button presses they go all to the negative side on the LED so yeah and good news everyone in the end I succeeded after hours and hours and hours so yeah labeled this okay because I'm stupid so I will show you so yeah normal people would have bought this or I don't know or looked it up how to do it but I want to learn and you learn through your mistakes and so I wanted to figure this out all by myself and I did in the end after I pulled an all-nighter so yeah so let me show here is a Sega controller just put it in and you see down, left, right, up. If you, uh, if you press two buttons, two light up, you see. And here for the button presses. A and B button. So, yeah, it works for the Sega controller. I have here a modified one that I Put together for the Atari because some games I just want to play with this controller and I had this over from a um, portable project for the uh, Famicom portable so I show you it's the same up down left, right B button and I wired this um, so the A button is jump. You see. So it works with that. Here my it's the competition joystick for the Amiga. Works the same. You see up, down, left, right. Please and the button and the last I have to show you is the Atari so I modified that with clicky buttons there is one thing yeah when I put it in the, this lights up I don't know why and I don't care so the same here, up, down, left, right, and fire. So yeah, I think that's it came out pretty nice. Yeah, not nice, it's just a box I had with hot glue and yeah, I tried to make this circuit look as nice as I could so yeah I think this will be pretty useful for I don't know if you go on a flea market or some second-hand shop or I don't know you can take this with you and test your joysticks on the go so yeah I hope you find this a little bit um, interesting 
So if you want to build this yourself, you can either buy the PCB, I think they're pretty cheap, or you can watch a video afterward. Um, after I finished it, I watched her videos. And yeah, people who really can explain that very good. But for me, it was important to find it out myself. And yeah, so to gain a little more knowledge, and in the end, I succeeded. So guys, thank you for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye.